I want to get to the issue of race. And in, in, in many American cities, that's always something we have to confront in this country. Uh, four years ago, when you ran, that was one of, the, you know, one of the central themes of the campaign. Let's just be honest. Folks were saying, "Hey, African American mayor, white mayor, we don't know." Four years later, you win. You can remind people that I lost that election. Huh? Well, you know, I, did, I, was, I was following that as well. Uh, it's, and so you're in a situation now where, whether it's the school system, whether it's housing, whether it's uh, you know, overall how do you rebuild the city, it's still there, but, it's, but it seems to me from a lot of folks are saying, look, we just got to fix this thing. So, so, so forget who's in control. I mean, let's just be honest. Who would have actually thought you would have a white mayor in New Orleans right now and a Vietnamese American member of Congress in New Orleans? And so have you had the sense as well where people said, look, let's forget the old way of all the racial battles we had in the past. It might still be there, but we've got to confront this together, no matter what part of town we're coming from. Let me, let me answer that both, both ways you asked it, in the specific way about New Orleans. Uh, people in New Orleans have come together uh, in an attempt to find higher common ground. They've gotten to the place where they said, we don't really care. You know, we, we're so down. We just need to find some way to fix it. Uh, and I, I feel really blessed to be able to serve as mayor of the city. But I want to address the issue of race directly uh, because you talk a lot about this and people around the country. Race is this nation's Achilles heel. Um, and for people who say that it's not an issue or people who say it's not there, they either don't know or they don't want to know. That basically race is right below the surface on every issue that we deal with. And trying to ignore it, trying to walk around it, trying to go over it or go under, that ain't going to work. You got to go through it you got to deal with it directly. Now, the country seems to be wanting to get there, but we don't seem to be yet too comfortable with having the discussion in a thoughtful, constructive way. And when you don't, people feel disenfranchised. People feel offended. People can't really get to the issue. At the end of the day, once you get through it, what you're going to find out is everybody's just the same, and everybody wants the same stuff. And if you can focus on the thing rather than the who, then you eventually get to solving the problem that we all need.